Previously on Game Trip. I hadn't nabbed enough of his nuts. He wanted me to nab his nuts some more. So I went ahead, nabbed him. Now he's raising his hands in the air because he's so happy about it. And he paid me. And that makes me a prostitute. Woohoo! Pretty excited about that, aren't you, Banjo? Stoop to any level just to get a jiggy. Shame on you. Um, hey, welcome back, guys. This is Game Trip, and uh, this is Juna. And while it may seem like that's me running around down there, uh, it, it's it. There's a time differential, okay? Because I, I accidentally messed up and recorded on the wrong mic because my sound box was upside down, and I have two two little ports, and it was the wrong mic. So you can probably even hear my voice in the audio if you listen real close from when I actually recorded this, because I was yelling, and it picked up on the other mic, but it sounds like hot garbage, so. I'm just doing a, a, I mean, this is like a reaction video to myself. I'm just, I'm just looking at my own gameplay and doing a little commentary here. And also, we're finishing Banjo-Kazooie finally. If you guys have been wondering where this episode is, I just, I didn't know what to do with it. I had no idea. I was like, oh crap, I can't re-record it, because when I went back, uh, you can't fight Grunty twice. You fight her once and then it's over. Okay? So, anyway, that's my whole explanation for what happened and where this video's been. But, um, it was really exciting and this is a pretty good battle where I die a few times, but... So, anticipating my own death is, uh, something I'm probably gonna have to deal with a little bit. Um, but whatever, you know, you, you, you live and you learn. Okay, so here, yeah, I thought that was Grunty's boyfriend. Uh, Grumble? Gingle? Whatever, he's Igor. He's Igor, is who he's supposed to be. He's Igor to a witch, I guess. And I was looking for 2D, I was like, oh, 2D, well, maybe she's behind the machine. When are they ever behind the machine, right? Sometimes. Um. So here we go. Let's go fight Grunty. Come on, me. What are you doing piddling around? I think I'm just nervous. Grunty is kind of a tough battle, and I vaguely remember it. I, I only... I mean, how many times did I fight Grunty in my life? Maybe like twice? Three times? Most? Tops? Heaps? Don't know, um, but it wasn't very many times. And I never got all the notes, so this room here, you can see a bunch of note doors. And I never got all those before. I didn't know what was in them. Um, but it's really cool. You just... You'll see. I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, and this guy. I remember him. He's Grunty's uh, laundry cauldron. And that's really gross and really sad for him. And I think I'm just kind of empathizing with him right now. It's like, what the hell, Grunty? You're going to wash your clothes in a sentient pot? The Ding Pot. That's what his name is. Yeah, just splosh in. How about we just turn around and not finish the game and not get in the dirty laundry pot? Alright, here, this is cool. Woo! Gold feathers. 20 of them. Even though I can only hold 10. Because I never found the last Cody guy. So I guess you could say it's not a 100% run. But it's an all-note, all-jiggy... Um... All-fun run. Yeah. All three were accounted for. Woohoo! Oh, and this is really cool. Yeah, I was like, what? Another puzzle piece! No way! And then it was a honeycomb, and then it did the Zelda thing. Double life bar. So you spend the whole game collecting these honeycombs and uh and then they just give you like the equivalent of like five extra honeycombs right at the end <laughs> so you know but i imagine they thought you might come to this room and then revisit some of the worlds or something to get those last jiggies whatever oh hell here we go we're gonna fight grunty I can't believe that furry pair got right up in here. It's not, it's so unfair. 
But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle test your skills with kites. I was trying to make my own rhyme. I'm not a good rhymer. And by, a, by, by extension, I'm not a good rapper. Sometimes I write raps in my head and I'm like, whoa, that's pretty good. But on retrospect, it's really corny. It's really corny and terrible. And I'm like, man, you're such a... You, you, you just you shouldn't do that. Uh, I'll stick to playing the ukulele. <laughs> Look how big her, her broom's mouth gets. It's like a shovel. So this part was pretty easy. I didn't have any issues with this part. Um, but, you know, she's a full-on boss. Like She's not like a Elden Ring boss or anything. She's still just like a bunch of pre-planned moves and then hit me here and hit me here. But there's a few phases. You know, it's a complex fight. It's cool. Actually, you know, Rare really hasn't changed their, or back then, they hadn't really changed their formula. If you played the Donkey Kong games, like Donkey Kong Country 1 through 3, and uh, you would fight the final boss, he would essentially like do the same move three times, and then you'd hit him, and then he'd change to a new move. You, you'd do that three, dodges, attacks, whatever. And this is essentially that. And even that attack, that, I know Rare didn't work on Zelda, but this, this did remind me of a Zelda boss a little bit. Zelda even gives you the, the double health bar at the end with the fairy. What am I doing? Hey, you gotta go get go get the witch, bear. Yeah, you guys must go insane watching me play. Ba 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 ba. Good job, me. How do pe I don't know? I don't know how people watch themselves. I should watch more YouTubers, but I, I've been stuck watching particle physics videos and and lately I got down the Elden Ring since I mentioned it. The lore, uh, the the lore, the endless lore videos out there. There's like a million of them, and if you don't know, Elden Ring's got a sick story. I mean, you know, it's to be expected from 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 Soft, but it's complex as any book. It's crazy. Um, highly recommend checking out some Elden Ring lore videos from people like Smotown. Uh, because you, you'll just, the, what you learn is really cool about the game, and it, it made me want to go back and play it, uh, which I'm currently doing on my own. Oh, whoa, 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 what the, whoa! You just walk off the edge. Party foul. I can hear myself in the background. I was like, ah! <laughs> Made myself laugh. <laughs> it's so weird because I can still kind of hear myself in the background. I'm somewhat talking over myself. I apologize for this, like, garbagely manufactured video. This has to be one of the worst I've ever made. So, uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe and <laughs> I'll try not to do this again. Though I can imagine, you know, sometimes I forget to turn my sound on. I know other YouTubers don't make this issue, but, uh, you know, I do, so, whatever. Ah! What, does her broom have a car engine? Did you hear those noises? It's like, da donk da donk da donk Oh, I was feeling confident for this one, but alas, I think I I beak beak bomb my way into nothingness somehow. Oh yeah, and I guess I should have I should broach the issue of not uploading too much lately. I just uh I haven't had time. You know, um I've I've come to the realization that to do this channel and to actually animate my videos properly and do some of the other stuff I, I'm gonna do, I, I really have to get a modern computer. So I'm trying to save up a few thousand and just buy a tank of a computer, but I've been taking tons of overtime. But I mean, as it stands, you know, uh, I, it should take me, you know, 30 minutes to make one of these videos with my editor and then make the thumbnail and everything. But because of the processing power I'm working with, uh, it takes me like three hours. 
so I've just been trying to prioritize. You know, sometimes I just gotta make some money. And uh, the overtime's available. Weird though, this job sometimes kind of forces me into overtime. And I, I like, you know, I, it, it's not a big deal, but they ask you to, I signed a contract, okay, when I started. And it said, you know, I'm gonna work from six in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. And that'll account for, uh, you know, my eight hour shift or whatever. Um, and then they, they really, they want me to come in five minutes early. Which isn't, I'm like, okay, I can kind of understand that. Uh, but then they also want me to stay 15 minutes late. And I get paid for it all, you know, and I need the money right now, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I hate it when, when I'm, it's already eight hours a day, you know, people need their free time. So, you know, let's, t I guess I'm just going to channel that rage into Grunty. Take that, HR! No good. Those fireballs, they, they come so rapidly, you only, you only have like a little second to just get those eggs in on Grunty. Ah, Grunty! No! <laughs> you have to, that thing will always hit you. This is my favorite part of the fight, flying around. It's, it's an aerial battle. This is one of the first 3D games, and there's an aerial battle in it? That's pretty ballsy, rare. Rare games, I what do you call them, rare studios? Whatever you call it, it doesn't sound right. Like, when, when I try to type in rare games into, into, you, into YouTube or something, there it is. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! I, okay, I think this is the this might be the one where I beat her. No, it's it's not. I screw this one up too somehow. <laughs> Spoilers! Yeah, but you type in rare games into the internet and it tries to show you a bunch of rare video games, but not like from the company, just like games that themselves are rare. So uh, yeah, it's a struggle. Beaky fool and hairy nerd. That, that made me uh that made me laugh. Ooh, the music's really killer too. I don't think I appreciated it when I played. Bye. Bye bye. I do hate going through phased bosses though. Like after you've died and you gotta go through phase one and phase two and then phase three and then phase four. Ah, reminds me of Mega Man. Specifically Mega Man X. I mean, I know the regular Mega Man games are harder than normal ones, but I, I still struggle with the X games. Ha, huh, but not the sports ones, the Mega Man ones. I also, ah, what the hell? Hey, hey, whoa, I just hit the back of your broom. That's not damage worthy. And then I learned, okay, I'm like, take out the golden feathers. You can spare them. That's why they gave them to you. This is so damn visceral. The colors are really pleasing. They did really good with the effects and everything. Like that little green and red that comes out of the back of her broom. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, no. It makes me think now. I mean, it's not, there's no color theory going on here, but one of the videos that I've really been into is this color theory video for Elden Ring. How, like, everything in the game is essentially color-coded to give you more lore, you know? And it's everywhere. It's in, like, every aspect of the game. Um, and it really is a thing. If you go back and look all, at all the items, they're, like, the red 
the gold, you know, it always lists, like, the color that's involved with it, uh, which seems to have meaning, and that, that's just so rad that they just linked that in. I don't think that's going on here, but it makes me look at colors more, because we tend to go, th like, like, this is, when I first played, uh, Elden Ring, I just kind of blew through it, you know? Um... Like, I'm like, up oh, another Dark Souls game, you know, it was fun, and some of the story was cool, and I did some of the quests and stuff, to, I mean, I got, like, every weapon, so I did a lot of the quests, and I knew, essentially, kind of what was going on, but I just, I didn't look, you know, I didn't look at the environment, I, I, I would just pass statues and be like, oh, yeah, that's just another statue, just another placed asset in a video game, but not in that one, every statue, asset, rock seemingly is is placed with intent and that did it does something different for your brain it makes you actually look and explore the world you're in when i think a lot of the times we tend to just follow our quest markers to the next location and not see any of it you know genshin impact's a great example of that like there's a big story in there um and 50 percent of it is just paimon telling bad jokes um so there's that but you just, you can follow the quest markers and not know what the hell's going on, who anyone is, why you're there, why it's important that the sky's blue and not green or something, right? And, yeah. So, I think part of, like, getting immersed in another world is definitely making people have to experience it, you know, with an open mind, with questions, uh, with wonder. Anyway. That has nothing to do with this game, but that's a that's a little tangent I went off on. Oh! Yeah, Jinjos. Wasn't a good gr rhyme, a grime, rhyme grunty. Grime runty. <laughs> grime runty. Uh, that's the name of my next metal band. No, it's not metal enough. Maybe just my punk rock band. I don't have any bands. Yeah! I'm <laughs> right in the face. My downfall was getting hit by all these fireballs. Ow! <laughs> I'm like, fart him in! Oh, she... No, 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 that's me. That's me charging a Jinjo. I thought this was a cool end to the fight. But you can fight Grunty and then not have enough Jinjos, and then what do you do? You just get to the end, Grunty's got this shield, and there's nothing you can do. You have to get all the Jinjos. I think. I think that's how that works. Oh my god, is she bald? I think she's bald! She's got a little cone head under there! Use the thing, yes! Oh, I am the mighty Genjinator. Activate me and prepare to live. For, that's me. That she, Grunty will prepare to die. Okay, and during this phase, she only gives you, like, right after this thing lands, you have a chance to shoot eggs without getting hit. But barring that, you're gonna get hit with eggs. So, or, uh, uh fireballs, whatever. Yeah, it's tough. That's what happens. That's what happens when you mess with a witch. You could have stayed home on the island with the coconut boobs. Oh no, see, I got one health left and I'm getting real scared. And I got like one hole, two holes, three holes. <laughs> Man, I sound like Owen Wilson sometimes. Anyway. I can just hear my own voice a little bit. I'm gonna try and tone it down for the actual video, but just know that when I'm recording this, I can also hear myself talking. It's a very, very strange experience. But I guess people do videos like this all the time, watching themselves, you know, especially the more famous YouTubers and Let's Players will watch stuff that they played 10 years ago.
So you're back. You must be thick. Oh, I had a good one. I had a good rhyme lined up, but I, I can't. I'm not as fast as Grunty. Man, I would be terrible at improv, which is terrible given that this channel is essentially improv. Woo! I'm pretty sure this is the one where I beat her, though. Man, we're, wrap we're, we're wrapping this up, and we're gonna wrap up F-Zero. What else? Zelda doesn't have too much longer. I think I gotta line up a whole new series of games. Yeah. And we're, we're over halfway through the year, too. So, you know, I, I, guess, I guess what the conclusion I've come to is I'm not gonna play every game in 1998, but I will play games in 1998 until the, you know, until I have, like, 365 days or so worth of content, and then we'll move on to the next year. And just, you know, kind of peruse through there. Oh! So cold, Grunty. My dad used to always tell me uh, when it was cold that it's colder than a witch's titty. And, and I never knew what that meant. Because, like, why would that be cold? Is the rest of the witch warmer? It never made... It, I don't know. It, it was a southern thing, I guess. You just say stuff like, Oh, that's a, more rancid than a cornflake snowball. And you're like, what? And you're like, yeah, don't, don't question it. Wow, she really wails when you hit her with those eggs. It can't hurt that much. And she likes gross things. I mean, she eats, like, underwear soup and crap, you know? She does, uh, she goes to zombie school and has, like, fleas in her face or something. She's just the epitome of disgust. Like, if Grunty even got beautiful using, using what seemingly is a toddler's bare childhood youth, would it even matter? I mean, she would just pee her pants and eat flies and crap anyway, and then she'd be back to where she was in like, I don't know, I give her a year. And as far as I can tell, Tootie's the only source of youth in this entire world. I mean, Diddy Kong might be in there somewhere. I guess she could take him. Ah! No. Yeah, a lot of gross, gross claws there. Some, a lot of gross claws. Yes, barely. I know there were other bosses in this game, but they never really felt like it. Grunty feels like the first real boss. But she's still so complex, I feel like they could have squeezed a few other bosses in there. But I guess they didn't need to. Like, this game's fine. You know, now now that we're ending it, like, this game's great. It's a great game. I wouldn't change a thing about it. You know, maybe give it a graphical update. Like, if we get a remaster someday, I'll be happy. If we get Banjo 3... I'll crap my pants and put a flag in it. All right. Oh! Dumb idea. I was doing good up until that point. Ow. Oh. Not this time, Grunty. You're about to get ginginated. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
this. I'm doing good, actually. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm not so terrible at video games. It's like most things I do. I suck at it for a really long time, and then I pull off something cool. Oof, you've winded me all around to catch my breath. I'm on the ground. I, I think that's a cute rhyme, and I don't know why. No idea. Just struck with me. No, 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 I tried to dodge it, but you can't. You can't. You know, that laser kind of looks like those old octopuses from Donkey Kong Country. Which you also couldn't dodge. I don't know if there's a, a correlation there. Ah, uh, this is it. Yeah. Oh. Boom. No, no. My cam I'm like getting really like uh, nervous here because I'm like at the end, so my camera starts going wacko. Yeah, and this is when I figured it out. I'm like, oh, there's a pattern. Yeah, there it is. I'm <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm hitting the C buttons going every which way. Yes! It's over, Grunty. Okay, now I remember this part. This is stupid. <laughs> Get in there! Get in there! Get the eggs in the hole! Get the eggs! The eggs, Kazooie! The eggs! Oh, shit. It's about to get gingy in here. She's... Yeah. Soil your already soiled undergarments, Grunty. Oh my god, it's coming. It's coming. What a tease. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Uh, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ah, oh, we got an even ten. Come on. She's so. Warriors <laughs> like. Prepare to die. Remind me not to fuck with the Jinjos. And blood and carnage and guts. Or just a hole in the ground. Oh, come on, Grunty. You have to be, like, jelly at this point. Oh, wait. Uh, you know, since I can't fight Grunty anymore, I wonder if I can go see her under the rock. I mean, she that's where she has to be, logically. So we'll, we'll go, we'll try and go visit her at the end. I'll play for a few more minutes and we'll try that. Okay, so this part totally jacked up for me, so I'm probably going to cut here in a second and get like a pre-recording of it or something so that... Because my system just didn't run it right. I don't know what happened. But check this out. Blubber! He's got his life together! <laughs> and we got Melon... Morgan walked in at this point into the house and was like, those are melon boobs. <laughs> and that chick... This totally has melons on her chest to represent her melons symbolically. It's it's very deep. Well, oh, oh yeah, I guess I guess we did it. This is the end, guys. We beat Banjo Kazooie. That was a long journey. But a fun one. Fun one. And we got coconuts at the end. 
Oh yes, and we get to see all the enemies at the end with our little marchy song. Klungo, that's his name. Topper. Carrot Topper. An onion, everybody. An onion. Cabbage! Lots of, uh, lots of good vitamins in cabbage. Eat your cabbage. <laughs> rocks! <laughs> Just rocks. Gruntling, uh, yeah, with your waggly jaw. You were just, they're basically basic enemy. And that's that guy that tried to steal my shorts. I'm not going to forget that. Big butt. Oh, because he butts you. His butt's actually really tiny. Yep, Grublin, you were wearing sticks for pants. Leaky, your only function you were terrible at. Lock up. Yeah, uh, we're, we'll soon find... No, no, never mind. <laughs> Little lock up. Not very good at hiding. I remember that guy. Yum yum. Uh, didn't really mess with me in this play, but in the past, that guy was a jerk. He's caused me lots of trouble. Snip it, nipper. Get your nippers. Wait, did they show nipper? Or are they just showing the basic enemies? Ah, snacker. Always guarding the Jinjos. Gloop. It was a short-lived friendship, but you did give me oxygen right out of your mouth, so I suppose we're pals. But not you, Grilled Champa. I think you fucked with me more than any other enemy. And, uh, yeah, you need to see a doctor. Please, God, get help. Oh, come on. Those things don't even have eyeballs. Oh, Croctus. Sorry I didn't feed you till the very end of the game. That was... That was a bad on my part. Nothing to say about Flibbit, I guess. He's a frog and they're cool. Buzz Bomb, you, you really have a bad sense of direction. The Tipped Up Choir, or Simon, as otherwise they're known. <laughs> Groggy, <laughs> the tired kid. Soggy, the kid what pees his pants. And Moggy, uh, who's, uh, uh, I mean, what, I don't, what does Moggy even mean? The Twinklies. Yeah, yeah, a lot of you died. I remember that. And the Twinkly Munchers, a lot of you got fed. Circle of Life. And Sir Slush, probably the most accurate enemy in the game. Those snowballs were insane. Um, Chinker, probably needs a new name at some point. Jinxie uh, has allergies in the desert somehow. Go figure that. I guess it's dusty. Uh, Grabba, whose only job he was not able to accomplish. I don't even remember Scabby. And Slappa. Never slapped me once as far as I can tell. Oh, uh, yeah, I, man, I, I'm trying to think of a quip for everyone, but it ain't happening. Mott's hand. Um, um he's, Ma, he's a Mott's hand. I, I don't know. Tumblr. I guess you spoke to me, so I'm going to give you a pass on sentience. Oh, yeah. Honestly, those were the most intimidating enemies to me. They move fast and they can go through walls. Limbo, though, you were a pushover. You're just some bones. I never got skeletons. They're just, they're just bones. Who's scared of bones? I mean, the icon iconography of death, sure, but just bones? Boombox, uh, uh, get some anger management correctional stuff going on. Boss Boombox probably abuses younger Boombox, which is why he's so explosive. Grimlet? Um, you're a strange creature. I would still want to know what's in your hole. And Flotsam, who's never saved a life once. One wonders what he's doing on the ship. 
Wow, Rare really likes their big jaws. Look at these big jaw. Look at this guy. He's got a huge ass jaw too. Everyone's got an underbite. Even you, look at your huge underbite. Ah, the big cluck. Zubba's always oh, getting in my food, trying to sting me. Grublin Hood, who steals from the poor to give to himself. Oh, look, a Jiggy, but I got all the Jiggies. There's no, that, 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 that Cheeto. Uh, <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> Oh, here we go. See, look at her melons. <laughs> so Mumbo's got some secret pictures for me. Oh, well, I guess I got to cut here and load up the other video. So we're cutting and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and, uh, yeah, so this is the part. It just, I don't know, for whatever reason on my version of it, it just completely jacked up my my game and crashed, so, um, I'm just, this is just a clip I took off YouTube somewhere. <laughs> but it's the same, it's the same thing, so, you know. Um, it's just gonna show us some secrets here for Banjo-Tooie, which I was under the impression that... I wasn't gonna get to use those in Banjo-Tooie, because I haven't played Banjo-Tooie. At least, I rented it maybe once, but I, I wasn't, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can transfer my, my save info over, because um, Mumbo's about to show me a bunch of secrets that I didn't even know were in the game. You know, so I might have another bonus Banjo episode sometime, because I technically haven't 100%ed it all the way. Well, you weren't supposed to be in the first one, Kazooie. Um, I think that was established at some point. Oh yeah, show me them goods. Find first secret on the beach. I actually haven't watched this yet, so... What? When I don't remember that. Okay, so first secret on the beach. There's a tree at the beach! Okay, so we have to talk about Mumbo. I just want to let you guys know, if you look at the character art for Mumbo, that jerk has got some ears behind his mask that are attached to his weird purple body, and which leads me to believe his head is actually very tiny, and that mask is just very large. I thought that mask was his head. No, he's, there's a little purple man under there. Okay, one egg. Show me the other egg. Next secret found in snow. Oh, Waza doesn't like me to go in there, Mumbo. He's very, he's very picky about who he lets into his cave. Oh, so that's open now. It's just a, it's that ice key. I thought you couldn't get the ice key. Ah, uh, that was that door in the desert. That weird door that I was like, where's this go? Just can't open this door? Why is Mumbo shaking the picture? Stop shaking it. Mumbo, chill out. Another egg. Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo-Tooie. Okay. Well, that's it. Bye, Banjo. Bye, Mumbo. We still gotta go see Grunty's body, so 
Oh, blubber! Sober as hell and ready for a new future. The world wasn't good enough for you. Oh, I... <laughs> you're not you're not gonna be able to lift that rock, Longo. I'm pretty sure Grunty is just bones in the next game. Oh, there it is! Yes, well... You know what? Let, nah, let's just end it there. That's perfect. It's the end. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next game, whatever that is. Wow, wow, wow.